Hola, mi nombre es Yarifel, estudio en la Universidad de Beta, donde hago mi doctorado y soy miembro de Train. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mathieu Plante, je fais un doctorat à l'Université McGill et je suis membre d'ArcTrain. Konnichiwa, Yukie desu. Magill Daigaku de benkyo shite mas. ArcTrain no ichiin desu. Uh, I'm Rebecca Jackson. I am working on a PhD on paleo-oceanography at uh, the Marum in Bremen and I am part of ArcTrain. Hallo, ich heiße Vasco. Ich mache meinen Doktor in Bremen und bin Mitglied bei ArcTrain. Salut, sunt Raul. Sunt student în Universitatea din Bremen, vin în România și sunt membru al Train. A sunny day in August. Two dozen doctoral students walk up Sunday Hill, all of them members of the International Research Training Group, ArcTrain. The archaeology site that we're excavating over there is about 3,000 years old, and it sits on a terrace, and right on the edge of that terrace, there's a really steep bank down, so it's uh, an old shoreline. Archaeologist Scott Nielsen and his colleagues have unearthed the cultural history of the Innu First Nation, which has always been strongly marked by climate change. ARC-trained students explore climate change in the North Atlantic and the Canadian Arctic. The aim really is to provide the best possible environment for PhD students to do their research and be prepared for a wide range of possibilities for their careers in the future. But a very important element uh, is field training. Sunday Hill was only the beginning. Today, the real adventure begins. The arc trained students board a twin otter bound for the Torngat Mountain National Park, northern Labrador. Cruising altitude, 3,500 feet. Cruising speed, 140 knots. Landing at Sachlek Fjord airstrip. A short boat ride takes the students to the Torngat Mountains base camp their home for the next few days. The base camp is maintained by Inuit. They will guide the students and they will serve as bear guards. Up here, polar bears and black bears may be encountered at any time. A one-hour boat ride takes the arc trained students to Rose Island, a place that was home to the Inuit for more than 5,000 years. And we're here on uh, Rose Island, and this is a special management area. We're only going to see a part of the island. And Rose Island is a place where Gary Bakey's ancestors once made their living, and where adaptation to a changing environment was a constant challenge. The ARC trained students learn about these changes and challenges, not only in the Torngat Mountains. The most of the true students spend a lot of time in laboratories of uh, beyond uh, a screen. And uh, this summer, they had the chance to experience the work at sea and different aspects of the work at sea on the floating university on the uh, Polar Stern in Fram Strait to do oceanographical work, marine geology. And uh, I think it was extremely positive. They, uh, they had uh, an extraordinary summer. Field experiences like those in Labrador and on board the research vessel Polar Stern help to prepare the students for ambitious professional careers. In reality, the majority of our students are going to end up outside of academia and uh, there is a range of possibilities in this uh, rapidly changing part of the world from logistics industry, transportation industry, maritime industry, insurance, nature conservation, which will all require highly skilled people. Field trips require a number of soft skills, communication, cooperation and adaption to changing circumstances. We had uh, to adapt to many uh, uh, constraints and uh, we changed the program several times. So it went very well all together. It was challenging, it went very well. And uh, thanks to uh, the Inuit people, who were our host in the Tongat Mountains, thanks also to the students. They were great. 
On the last day of their field trip, the ARC trained students pick their way through a boggy stretch of land to take soil and water samples. So we're just sampling some uh, sediment, what we can find um, from the lake. Uh, we'll take it and have a look under the microscope and see if we can find any, any living um, micro kind of ecology. The ARC trained students return from their last excursion. The torn gut experience has passed far too quickly. Still, the time was sufficient for all participants to be touched by the magic aura of the North. <laughs>